Yeah, it's a huge sense of relief. Um, you know, I think the medical team has get a lot of credit, and Brian was also very professional, uh, you know, on the flight here. Um, you know, it's awesome to have Brian back. Even after yesterday, I thought that uh, he won't play. So it's great to have him back and, uh, you know, meet some sort of continuity. And it's great to have the most of all the same team available that played in the previous test match. And uh, I was a little bit worried about Michel Kutsia as well. He had a slight uh, twitch in his groin, but he'll also be fine to play on Saturday. So that's, that's really great. Did those guys have to come to the fitness test this morning? Is that kind of part of the reason for the, the delay in getting back? No, it's not part of the delay. They did the fitness test while the forwards were training. So uh, all the guys, you know, while the other team, were, other guys were training, they did the fitness test. All came through the fitness test, so I'm very happy to have them back in the side. Yes, you know, uh, Keegan is a great player, and he's uh, he had a great Super Rugby as well. Um, I just thought that if you look at the first test match, it was very physical, in the, in especially in the first 60 minutes of actually the whole game. Whole game. And um, so I just thought it would be great to start with Jock because it's going to be more physical, it's, it's a little bit more heavier and it's going to be especially up front. And then when the game opened up, hopefully later, Keegan is a great impact player. He's a better impact player than Jock, so it's more horses for courses. But, uh, you know, they were also quite strong in, the, in their malls, and their malls was one of the key areas in their game. And I just feel with Jock there, it will be, we have to stop their malls, be more arrogant in stopping their malls. So uh, he gives us some, some more uh, KGs in the, in the front department. And uh, Jock's also a very physical player. So uh, he'll mix it up there with the best and uh, expect a physical game. And I think Egan will have a great impact if he comes on. Yes, definitely. You know, I thought they had a very strong defence and uh, suddenly there's now two big ball carriers. I was always worried the first test about probably not having enough ball carriers. So although Willem is not out and out, he's played there quite often. Jock will give us an extra ball carrier. But I just want to say that you know, it's not... If it was probably Australia, Keegan would have probably started. So it's, it's horses for courses. I thought Keegan did well. He had the most cleans and he almost played like an open side. So um, I just felt at this stage two big ball carriers we have to stop there on the game line and I want us to get game, have more game line dominance. Um, you know, in this stage of the competition, although the guys training-wise have been great, those guys didn't train, but they've been a 15, you know, for five test matches now, hopefully the fifth test match. So it is a great relief to have some sort of continuity. We've been unfortunate with injuries, so it's great to have an almost unchanged side and uh, have a lot of continuity going forward. Yeah, it's always difficult playing the same team back to back, especially the second game away from home. So um, now we've studied a lot of their video material, but um, like I've said before, you know, I, I, when I was more inexperienced coach, you tried to change everything according to the way they want to play, but they also moved things and changed things around that I've seen from our footage. So 